for Jesus. Ancient of days, I had that I am. We appreciate you for another beautiful day, for another beautiful time. Your present. Father, I want to say thank you for how far you have helped us, for how far you have helped this ministry. Lord, I want to say thank you for your hand of love upon this ministry. I want to say thank you for favor. I want to say thank you for help. I want to say thank you for confirming your word on a daily basis through this ministry. To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, to you be all the adoration in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to say thank you for those that you have blessed. I want to say thank you for those that you have released your word into their life and your word is germinating right now. Father, I want to say thank you for confirming your word for building their faith. Father, I want to say thank you for everything that you have been doing i want to say thank you for bringing life hope to the hopeless i want to say thank you for showing love and care to those who are fatherless to those who have no help i want to say thank you for restoring joy into their life may your name forever be glorified in the name of jesus my Lord, my God, as you come before you today, I ask that the heaven of heavens, heavens of blessing, Father, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord, my God, I ask that you visit us with your power, that you visit us with your might. Today, my Lord, my God, I ask that that which only you can do in our life, that which only you can do, that no other man can do it. That which only you can do, that no other human being, either on earth or in heaven, can do. Lord, I ask that you arise today, that you do it in our midst, in the name of Jesus. At the end of this day, at the end of this week, at the end of this month, at the end of this ministration, let your name forever and ever be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise it, the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome us to today's ministration, the eleventh day of the eleventh month. Eleventh day of the eleventh month. Eleven, eleven. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. As you join us today, the Lord will confirm His word in your life. The Lord will do that which only Him can do, and His name will forever be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Once again, you are welcome to today's ministration, the 11th day, today's ministration, Saturday, 11th of this month. Amen. I welcome every one of us in the name of Jesus. We go into today's ministration by the grace of God. It's going to be part two of last week, uh, Saturday. Family deliverance. Family deliverance. Family deliverance. Praise the Lord. Family deliverance deliverance amen family deliverance but before we do that which one should we take first family deliverance which one are we going to take first um okay let me give us the word we have a short prayer we have word for like three people and I have a word of encouragement from somebody online and uh, before today's prayer so Mr. Hassan which one should we go first the word for two or three people the short prayer the um, word of encouragement for somebody okay the word of encouragement will follow the uh, the word the prophecy for somebody but let's take the first let's take the uh that this short prayer first second samuel 7 18 to 16 18 to 18 second <laughs> my brother like prophecy say the word first second samuel 7 
Is it seven or one? Yes, second Samuel. But let me change it to first. There are two scriptures that go for it. Second Samuel seven eighteen to sixteen. O Lord, arise, 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 O Lord. This situation in my life, this situation in my marriage, this situation in my business, this situation in my career, that only you can do. Let's ask the Lord God to arise and do it. Let God arise and make the impossibility. The God that taught impossibility, that make impossibility to be possible. Can you present that matter before God? Say, so, Lord my God, every impossibility in my life, arise and make it possible. Let it be 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 possible. Every situation that look impossible in your life, every situation that look impossible in your marriage, as the Lord God to arise and face it. Let God turn it around and make it possible. Let God turn it around. 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 Every impossibility in your life. Every impossibility in your marriage. Every hopeless situation around you. As the Lord God to turn it around. Let God 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 turn it around. As I love God to turn it around. Every impossibility case. Every hopeless situation. Every hopeless situation in your life. In your, around you. In your marriage. In your business. In your career. It can be about your husband. It can be concerning your children. It can be concerning your spouse. Can you turn pray that prayer? So, Lord, my God, every hopeless situation, Lord, turn it around. Lord, turn it around. Every hopeless situation in my life, in my marriage, in the life of my wife, in the life of your husband, in the life of your children. So, Lord, my God, turn them around. 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 As the Lord God to fix it you. And turn that hopeless situation. Let God turn it around. 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 In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray for you, that person, with that word, that situation that look hopeless, that situation that look discouraging, either in your life, either in your home, either in your marriage. Either in your business, either in your career, every discouraging situation, every hopeless situation, every situation that brings shame and reproach. Today, I decree, I declare, the Lord face it, it in the name of Jesus. The Lord turn it around for you in the name of Jesus. So shall He be. Jesus' name. That is one, that one is said to. So I go back to that uh, 1 Samuel 1, 8 to 18. 1 Samuel 1, 8 to 18. We we'll read it. I will tell you what God said about that person. 1 Samuel, why is good to write this down? It can be you. Somebody on my way to office this morning, somebody was chatting with me and he said, you said this. When he said, I said, I said, I just said, hmm. Because if I check my note, it's not in my notes. <laughs> so, it is, am I, and I say yes. <laughs> during, during, there are some things God gave me, I put them down. When I come online, those that I'm permitted to share, I share them. Those that I'm not permitted, I just document them. Is there in the Bible? There's some prophecy, there's some revelation God gave Daniel. And the Lord said, Seal it. He did not write them down. So that's why we are not able to read those. So there's some revelation God just, there's some revelation God will just give you to know. 
it's not for you to my wife we are talking one day just like that woman said yesterday that uh, only god know how many revelations you god gave you about me that you refuse to share with me and i answered the woman only god to know how many revelations that god have about me that god refused to tell me <laughs> so uh, my wife one day was uh, saying come some things happen after like two or three years before I was now telling my wife why I took that decision, that thing that happened, the people that were involved, everything. And my wife said, but you did not tell me, you did not uh, carry me along. <laughs> and she said, you are just a difficult person. Yes, I'm, I, 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 I keep telling her, yes, I know I'm a difficult person. And I asked her a question. This issue that happened at that time, if I have told you before it happened that this is what God told me about these people, what will you do? And I said, hey, hey, <laughs> do you, I said, do you see now? Do you see yourself now? There, if I told you, you may take it up against against those people personally and you won't have any evidence and god showed me it's not accepted you went to police station i said what happened you said god revealed to me that this person <laughs> no it's not acceptable number one number two when that event is about to play you will abort it by your action what god want to get out of it you not allow it to happen and she not say yes i said as a result of that those that need those that god need to expose you will not allow god to expose them because you think you want to fight say yes uh -huh. so i said that's why i refuse to tell you yes you are my wife but by the grace of prophet the grace of prophet on me there are some things as your husband i can share with you husband and wife but when you come to my office <laughs> hey, praise the lord first samuel 1 8 to 18. so those things that i'm permitted to share i will share them those i will not share and when we are praying there are some words that will come those words i don't have time to write them down so i just say it if i see anything i'll just say it so tomorrow, if people are say, Pastor, you said this, I don't know. <laughs> Praise it out. But I always love those ones that always come in because they're always powerful. First Samuel, are you there now? First Samuel 1, 8 to 18. 8 to 18. But permit me to just read 16 downward. I open it. No, first Samuel, please. First Samuel. First Samuel. Yes. Let me permit me to read 16 to 18. Do not consider your maid servant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint, I am grief. I have spoken until now. Verse 17. Then Eli the prophet answered and said, Eli did not ask, What are you saying? Eli did not ask for the problem. But Eli said, Go in peace, the God of Israel, grant your, part, your petition, which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went away, ate, and her face was no longer sad. You, that person online, that you are full of sorrow right now, that you are full of bitterness right now, because those people coming behind you, they are being blessed. Either in your marriage or in your organization, but you, you are not blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, starting from today, don't wait till the, after this prayer avalanche. Starting from today, go in peace. Ah, they are telling me one woman now. Show me one woman. Please, those of us on our online church that you are full member, please can you make comments. I want to be sure that the woman is online. Just show me the woman now. Please, the Lord said, go in peace. So please, if you are that person, 
that you are full of bitter anger and you are sad because people around you are blessed in your marriage in your business in that organization they are blessed but you that they met uh, you are still waiting the lord is saying go in peace the god behind this ministry the god that speak a word and confirm it may grant you your petition in the name of jesus and she said let your mates have a fine favor in your sight you have already found favor you that person that favor as the favor of god is upon you today that is why this world is coming and the bible said she went away ate and her face was no longer sad so please go no more sadness no more sorrow begin to rejoice begin to see yourself in the manifestation of that which we are believing God for. When you look at verse 19, the Bible said downward, and she went away and um, Elkanah knew Anna, his wife, and the Lord remember her. That was the beginning of her testimony. But before God remember her, God remember her means she was pregnant. Before she was pregnant, she did some things. What was that thing? She go away she was no longer sad she was happy she began to eat so the woman went away ate her face was no longer sad put sadness put bitterness aside see yourself manifesting in that glory and uh, you will see the hand of god in the name of jesus you will see the hand of god in the name of jesus praise the lord mommy has the lord bless you in the name of jesus amen Second, I'm still waiting for another woman. I don't want to mention him. Second Kings 1 to 8. Second Kings, another word for today. Second Kings chapter 17, 1 to 8. Second Kings. We have first king, we have second kings. Second Kings. 17 1 to 8. My sister say amen so that we know that she's online. I know you are online, so you don't need to say amen. You are not the one. When I see the woman, when she makes comments, I know she's the one. Second King 17. Oh, sorry, please. First King, first King 17, not second king. First King 17. It was the story of um, Elijah Brooke Sherry. First Kings 7, 1 to 8. In first theory, the Lord said, Go away from where you are. Turn his word and hide in Brookshire. The Lord asked him to go into Brookshire. Fast forward, first 8. Then the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise. The Lord asked him to go to Brookshire, to go and stay there. In another time, which means, the time of elijah already expired in that place and the word of the lord came unto him there and said this time around go into another you need to leave this place the lord where you are currently living right now you receive it from the lord you you came to that this place where you are right now based on revelation based of word from god that you come and dwell there and you are believing in this place over 10 years now over 10 years but hear what the Lord God is saying. Your time has expired here. So you need to arise and move to the next location. But you are complaining. You, are, you have to complain. Number one, the issue of money. Number two, you are now holding on to that prophecy that it was God that brought you to this place. Yes, you are right. It was God that brought you to this place. But the, the next phase of your life is not in this place. God has moved your resources. God has moved your help into another place. If Elijah continued to stay in Brookshire, the blessing, the breakthrough, the help will not come because the help is in another place. So you that woman, you that man, you that family, what you need right now is to go and seek the face of God for the next phase. For you to know that you are the one. When you enter into that place, everything was comfort, enjoyment, there was peace. But now, every day, there are crises, there are problems. 
your landlord, your landlady, your neighbor, your people, people are just frustrating you. You are not even having joy in that place. You are that person. You need to go and see the face of God for God to tell you the next face so that you move to that place. As you seek the face of God, may God expressly show you the next face in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Number three, this one is just encouragement for somebody. It came as we are rounding up last night. I received it. But I know it's not for yes, yes, I didn't. I thought for me. So I wrote it down. Well, I was praying this morning, it came again. And two people from two different nations. One I've seen one, one I've made comments. <laughs> So she will know that she's well. And another person, they this morning they were shouting and they were talking about the same thing. So I know that God wants me to encourage them with it. The other person, I was just laughing. I didn't reply that person. But one of them, I gave that person two examples. First Corinthians 3 6. Is it 5? I put down. First Corinthians chapter 3. First Corinthians chapter 3. 5. 5 to 9. First Corinthians chapter 3, 5 to 9. Who then is Paul? Who is Apollos? But ministers through whom you believe, as the Lord gave to each one. I planted, Apollo watered, but God gave the increase. So then, neither is he who plants is anything, nor he who water, but God who give the increase. Now, he who plants and he who water are one. You see two people here. The one that planted, the one that watered. They have their own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers. Workmanship. We are God's feed. We are God's building. We are God's feed. We are God's building. We are God's feed. Feed, farm, where we plant. Building. Building, you put blocks down. This is the word. Prophecy. Prophecy is a seed. Prophecy. When you receive prophecy, it's a seed. And uh, this is how it operates. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. You plant, you plant him by speaking the word. Oh, this is what God is saying. I already I just come online. I plant by doing by speaking the word. But I'm not the one that will water it. I'm not the one that will bring it, allow God to allow it to germinate. My own is to plant, your own is to water. One plant. Another one water, but God bring the increase. God bring the manifestation. My own, as a servant, sometimes that I try to manifest his gift, my own is to plant. Plant the word of God into your life. Plant the prophecy and revelation into your life. But hear me, sir. Your own is to water it. How do you water it? You water it by holding on to it. You water it by every day. Repeating the word, praying, standing on the word, not losing faith on it. So as you continue to water it like that, God will not bring the increase. God will not bring the manifestation. If I plant, if I gave you the word, and uh, you did not water it by holding on to it, by running with it. If a prophet somewhere give you a word from the Lord, and you did not water it by praying on it, there's nothing that will germinate. The art may shrink it, the art may swallow it, the art may destroy the seed because of time and season. But whenever you receive the word, go with it, run with it. By the grace of God, I've shared it behind the, my camera right now. I'm seeing some things. Every day I see them, unless I don't come to this office. I see them, I pray on them, I prophesy on them. Sometimes I touch them. Let me show you one of them. Praise the Lord. Oh, it has just fallen. That one has fallen down. Let me take another one. There's a pink one I printed out. 
everything about my life everything about this ministry is here when you read it they are just a word a word one two three four five six seven eight nine 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 it won't have meaning nobody enter here and see it and have meaning salt mercy tractor staff road key church document anchor chief prayer book ordination restoration it will have meaning but to me that i have the prophecy it have meaning so every day when i come to the office i see it i pray on it i lay hand on it this same copy i have it in my prayer room at home praise the lord the lord gave me the picture of uh, i need to get this paper please one minute okay before as i was coming online the lord gave me show me a place a landed property and detail about it it was a big land and i when i when that revelation finished i draw the sketch i don't know if the camera will pick it i draw the sketch detail about the land the village the highway the palm tree the stream the river there's a river that's at, uh, that is the boundary there detail about it i draw it i have one here i have one in the, my house what is the meaning every day i water it it's a prophecy it's a prophecy so every day i wa- i have many many yeah so as i'm as i'm as i'm sometimes when i'm praying i'm looking at the camera i'm not looking at the camera i'm looking at the prophecy revelation that i seek so when i'm praying i'm praying on them what is the meaning i'm trying to water those things by holding on to them praise it the lord number one number two there are some prophecy there are some word that you receive that is planted in your life that time uh, differs somebody that plants perennial crops and somebody that plants uh, two or three months uh, something so it's going to be diff- the time of germination will differ somebody plants a uh, cassava corn corn three months and somebody plants bamboo tree bamboo tree that will take years but come within three months you have done the affairs so the time that you are going to see the manifestation of that uh, corn will be different from when you will see the manifestation of bamboo number one number two if the person that planted bamboo tree is now angry that i have received a word that is not coming to pass this person uh, my friend this person my friend that planted corn is already affecting corn ha do you want to compare bamboo tree and corn you can't do that you can't compare the affairs bamboo tree until you are tired of affairs until you are tired do you know how much you are going to make from it do you know how many things you can make from it so you cannot compare them so the same way um on facebook modupe christana the prophecy you receive at the same time with uh, Yemi Olowo Obaromi. Obaromi may say a manifestation now. You may not see your own now. Because the seed are different. So the time of germination will be different. Uh, I have Mrs. Hassan online. The prophecy that Mrs. Hassan received. At the same time with um, Sheura Kiura. Somebody we have our own now. Somebody owns maybe another nine months. Another one year. You know why? Because the seed are different. So if your own seed is going to germinate next month, next year, and you left it without water it. If we medical people, there are some ailments, you just take a drug now, and the drug will work within, within 30 minutes, you begin to see the manifestation of the uh, drug. There are some drug you take, it will take like two or three days before you see the manifestation. There's some drug you will take. It will be working. But in the next one month, in the next two months, you will not see the manifestation in your body. But that doesn't mean that it's not working. It's working. It's working. So do you want to compare the drug for that we work five minutes with the one that... Uh, Let me encourage somebody this morning before we pray. If you have received a word, I'm not only talking about this ministry. You have a prophecy, you have a revelation that you are believing God for the manifestation. And people are testifying 
you are saying you are still holding on to it you better hold on to it hold on to it tight hold on to it tight hold on to it tight water it the man that planted is not the one to water for you for you for example if i give you prophecy ah yes there are some that i need to go back to god god i use my mouth to say this so it's <laughs> because humanly speaking how can this be possible but god so i need to go back to god but not all the time if it happen they day if it didn't happen no way to concern me <laughs> praise it alone but you are the one that have the seed you are the one on your own that will begin to water it you are the one that will begin to water it if you don't water it it will be there the lord bless us in the name of jesus but here what god has said concerning this is in, the word which i have spoken shall be confirmed i will do it every one of you that you have received a word every one of you that the seed that be planted in your life a good seed that be planted in your home in your marriage the lord god will bring it to manifestation in the name of jesus the lord will confirm it in the name of jesus you that woman your life is empty to see this one your life is empty it's like you are naked because you depend on people god is in as you tell you i will cover your nakedness i will bring a need i will rewind the 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 clock die the call clock and i will rewind it back and i will bring i will refresh your life i will add favor to your life thank you jesus this is what i have for today praise the lord i welcome every one of us into today's ministration day 11 family deliverance we'll be taking our prayer from john 11 verse 1 john 11 verse 1 please if you are online, can you make a comment? If you are a woman, you are online, can you make a comment on the Facebook? John 11, verse 1. John 11, verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. Family deliverance. John 11, verse 1. Now, a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. Lazarus of Bethany. Lazarus of Bethany. We'll be taking our family deliverance today from that place. Hear me, sir. My name is Ore Olua. Ore means gift. Olua means God. So when you combine the two together, it means God's gift. The gift of God. What is your name? Um, Modupe, what is the meaning? Yemi, what is the meaning? Kira, what is the meaning? I don't. I always call you Mrs. Uh, Chira Kira. Please, what is the meaning of those two names? Olua Tobiloba. I want to pretend as if I don't know the meaning. Please, what is the meaning of your name? Praise the Lord. Lazarus. What is the meaning of his name? Lazarus simply means God has helped. God has helped. What is the meaning? It simply means somebody that has received the help of God. Okay, Modupe means thank God. Lazarus means God's as help. Somebody who has received the help of God. Okay. I won't say anything so that people... <laughs> yes, I've seen the person with that revelation. Lazarus means God as help. The man, the woman, the boy, the girl, that God's as help, that I received the help. But now look at the next thing after the name. Lazarus of Bethany. What is the meaning of Bethany? Bethany means house of affliction. Another name for affliction, sorrow. House of sorrow. House of affliction. Lazarus of Bethany. A man that has received the help of God, but is living in the house of sorrow. A man who God has helped, that is still living in the house of affliction. Bethany was a small town in the slope of Mount Olive. Mount Olive down it, that is where you have that town called Bethany. Mount Olive, that is why Jesus Christ always comes to the house of uh, Lazarus all the time, all the time, all the time. Hear me, sir. Lazarus was a friend unto Jesus. Jesus always come to his house all the time. You know why? Jesus always pray on Mount Olive. Luke 21, 37. Every, every day in the night, Jesus always go to Mount Olive. To pray or to the living God. But the issue is this when he's gone, when he's coming back, you always branch in the house of Lazarus. 
Lazarus, a man that God has helped. So you see Jesus Christ coming there. God has helped him. But the house that Lazarus was living was house of affliction. So how can somebody that God has helped be living in the house of affliction? Affliction that affliction will swallow the help. Many of you, you have been helped. Many of you, God has helped you. Many of you, God has helped your marriage. Many of you, God has helped your business and your career. But you are living spiritually in the house of affliction. And that affliction in that house is choking the help of God in your life. The affliction, the house of affliction you are living in, is not allowing the help of God to manifest. The house of affliction that you are living, maybe where you are currently living now, either you are the owner or you rent it. It may be where you are working. It may be your environment. It may be where you have lived before. It may be your father's house. It may be your mother's house. It may be the house of your in-laws where you marry to. Where you marry to. That place may be house of affliction. Lazarus of Bethany. What is that house that you are living? Where is that house that you are living? Where have you lived before? Where did you come out from? And that place is house of affliction. As God is helping you, that affliction in your foundation, that affliction in the house that you live, is choking it. Is choking it. Is swallowing the help. Is not allowing the help of God to manifest in your life. Today, if you can say a louder amen, I decree, I declare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord bring you out from that house of affliction in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ coming to the house of Lazarus all the time. Lazarus, somebody that God has helped, but he was living in the house of affliction. Why will he not die? He will die suddenly. He will die a shameful death. He will die a disgraceful death. Because he was living in the house of affliction. I pray again, how many of you how many of you that God has helped? But instead of the help to manifest the house where you are living, the house where you live before, your father's house, your mother's house, your in-law's house, your environment are all tied to that help, and they do not allow that help to show. Today, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord God deliver you in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you. 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 May God deliver you from that house of affliction that is choking your destiny, that is choking your life, that did not allow your destiny to go. May God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my father's house. We are starting from that place. Family liberation, family deliverance. Many of us were in the city, but uh, our original glory is still tied down in our father's house in the village. Say in the name of Jesus, say my father's house. You mentioned your father's name. Say in the name of Jesus, say release me in the name of Jesus. If you are from a polygamy family, you, are, you come from the house of affliction. Your father married more than one wife. Either your mother is the first wife, the second wife, the third wife, or no number. You marry, you come out from the house of affliction. No? You are, you are, what's that your name? You are from the house of Bethany, house of affliction. No? Your father married only your wife, but impregnated somebody, and uh, the child was living outside. Stop deceiving yourself. Your father already married more than one wife. You are from the house of affliction. No? You are from the house of affliction. You are from the house of affliction. Shall I continue? <laughs> Israel from the palace. Ah, don't you know we are prince? Don't you know we are princess? Ah, I'm sorry for you. You are from the house of affliction, though. Your father was ordained king. Was or is still. Your husband, your wife, the father of your husband, the father of your wife, was a king. Or they see alive or is dead. His grandfather, up to 10 generations, a king. My sister, my brother, you marry to the house of affliction, no. Forget about the glory. Forget about the glamour. You marry to the house of affliction, no. <clears throat> if you are from a Muslim background like me, <laughs> you are from house of affliction, no. You are saying how? Oh. If you are from a Muslim background, unless until you break the gene, until you break the yoke, there will be rejection in your life. There will be rejection. 
when it matter most, when you are supposed to be enjoy, they will just reject you. They will just reject your offer. They will just reject. Ah, <laughs> you better pray very well, you. If you are from a priest, your great grandfather, your great grandmother, they are priests. Um, priests on shrine. You are from house of affliction. You need to pray. Should I, should I mention one or two again? You are from a warrior's family. They told you that your father, your mother, you are from a warrior's lineage. And uh, when your father, your great grandfather, when they go to the battle, when they are coming like this, ha, huh, they will be formating fire. Ah, uh, that fire have consumed many destiny. You are from house of affliction. <laughs> Should I continue giving example? Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say from the house of affliction. Say from my father's house. Mention your father's name. Say in the name of Jesus. My life you are released. My destiny you are released. My career you are released. My glory you are released. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare? Say in the name of Jesus. So Lord my God. From the house of affliction. So Lord deliver me. Deliver me. Release 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 me. Deliver me. From the house of affliction. Mention your father's name. So Lord my God, deliver me. Release me. 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 Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Release me. Release me, 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 release me. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Say from my mother's house, my mother's lineage. Say from the house of affliction. Mention your mother's name. Oh. Don't say Mrs. So. You mention it direct. Who are those people online? Modupe Kristana, what is your mother's name? Don't type it. Mami Fashola, what is grandma's name? Eh, David Kibe, what is your mother's name? You mention it from my mother's name, from my mother's house. That means your mother's lineage. Are you ready now? Say in the name of Jesus. Say from my mother's house. Say from the house of affliction. So, Lord my God, release me. Release my destiny. Release my glory. Release my career. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord my God, from my mother's lineage, from my mother's house, from my mother's blood. Oh, Lord my God, release me. 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 Ask the Lord God to release you. Let God deliver you. Say from my mother's house. Mention your mother's name. Say, Father, deliver me. Release me. 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 Deliver me. From my mother's house. Affliction in my mother's lineage. Oh Lord, deliver me. 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 Oh Lord, release me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, release me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, release me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Any event, we see it as event. But you know that Satan always hijack events. Things that happen. Satan will hijack it. And uh, turn it to issue. It's just ordinary event. But Satan will hijack it. And turn it to issue. And it will not become an issue. From one line to another. <laughs> Can we pray that prayer again one more time? You know you have mentioned your father's house. You have mentioned your mother's house. Now I want you to combine the two together. Say my father's house, you mention him. Say my from my mother's house, mention her. Say, oh Lord my God, from this house of affliction, spiritually, from this house of affliction, so Lord my God, deliver my life, deliver my marriage, deliver my business, deliver my career in the name of Jesus. Can you turn it to prayer? So Lord my God, from my father's house. 
from my mother's house, from my father's house, from my mother's house. So, Lord my God, deliver me. Deliver my glory. Deliver my career. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver my ministry. Deliver my career. Deliver my expectation. Deliver my finance. Deliver my health. Deliver me. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. From my in laws' house. You mention your husband's name or your wife's son's name. Say in the name of Jesus, from my in-laws' house, the house of affliction. It's difficult for somebody to say. My, so my husband now is not house of affliction. Ah, I pity you. Say in the name of Jesus. Just pray it. Don't worry. I know you are enjoying now, eh? but let the enjoyment continue. Because there are many things going on in that family that you don't know. Say in the name of Jesus. Say from my in-laws' house, from the house of affliction. So, Lord my God, deliver me. Deliver my marriage. Release me. Release my wife. Release my marriage. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, release my marriage. The glory of my marriage. The glory of my husband. The glory of my wife. So, Lord my God, release them. Deliver them. In the name of Jesus. Can you turn into prayer? Let God deliver you. Let God deliver your home, your marriage, your husband, your wife. From the house of affliction. In the name of Jesus, let God deliver you. So, Lord my God, deliver me from the house of affliction. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver my marriage. Deliver my business. Deliver my career. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Coloss Colossians 1 13 14. Colossians 1 13 14. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us? into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Say by the blood of Jesus, so Lord my God, redeem my life, redeem my destiny, redeem my career from any house of affliction in the name of Jesus. So Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, redeem my life, redeem my home, redeem my business, redeem my career from any house of affliction in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, my life, my home, my marriage, my business, my career, be redeemed, be delivered, 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 decree and declare, your destiny, your marriage, your home, your business, your career, everything about your family, let it be redeemed, let it be delivered from house of affliction. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, every bondage that limits me from my father's house, every bondage that limits me from my mother's house, say, any bondage that limits my glory, that limits my wife's glory from my in law's house, say, every environmental bondage that is limiting my glory, say, in the name of Jesus, say, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every embargo, every bondage, limiting my glory, limiting my manifestation. In the name of Jesus, scatter, 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 scatter. You that satanic bondage from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my in-laws' house, environmental bondage, limiting my glory, limiting my manifestation by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of God. Scatter, 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 command it to 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 scatter. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say every yoke, satanic yoke, upon my father's house, upon my mother's house, upon my in-law's house, upon the house I'm living, upon the environment where I live, upon the environment where I work. Say you that satanic yoke that is limiting me. In the name of Jesus, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Any satanic yoke. 
upon my life upon my marriage upon my business upon my career from my father's house from my mother's house from my environment break by fire 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 command the yoke to break in the name of jesus command the yoke to break 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 in Jesus' name, we are praying. Say satanic decision. Evil decision. Taking against my lineage. Taking against my bloodline. Say by the blood of Jesus. You that decision be cancelled. Do you hear that prayer? There are some decisions that our forefathers have taken. And is working against the lineage. Up to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th generation. And as long as nobody is breaking it, it will continue like that. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus. Satanic decision. Evil decision. Taking against my blood lineage. Taking against my father's house. Taking it against my mother's house. Taking against my in-law's house. Say you that satanic decision. You that evil decision. That is working against me. Say be cancelled. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I release myself from any inherited bondage. Any inherited bondage. Any transfer bondage. Inherited bondage. Bondage that cage the fathers. Bondage. It can be sickness. It can be affliction. And you know Satan is so, is so wise. He brings the sickness. I've shared this. A woman whom her mother died of breast cancer. She learned that her grandmother died of breast cancer. Her auntie had breast cancer. And because she was a professor, she went for a scan, no, bre no uh, um, cancer. So she said, I will teach, I will teach cancer that I have PhD, a doctorate. <laughs> He has been dealing with breast, breast, breast. Okay. Is it not when there is breast that cancer will have something to hold on to? She submitted herself medically that they should help her remove the two breasts. You don't have breasts, say remove it. After she removed the breast, within, within a short period of time, she started feeling here. By the time they shake, is it blood or bones cancer? <laughs> when the cancer was looking for breast and there's no breast, so it looked for uh, blood, either blood or <coughs> or um, bones. What is that affliction? What is that that inherited affliction that have plagued your family? You are going to decree and declare that father. From that affliction, from that inherited bondage, I release myself. Are you ready? Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Say I release myself from any inherited bondage that is affecting my father's lineage, affecting my mother's lineage, affecting my in-law's house. Say from that satanic bondage. Say I release myself. I release my family. I release my husband. I release my wife. I release my children. In the name of Jesus. From inherited bondage. From transfer bondage. Say I release myself. By the blood of Jesus. I release my glory. I release my career. I release my life. From inherited bondage. From transfer bondage. I release myself. I release myself. I release myself. I release myself. In Jesus name we are praying. Lazarus. A man that God has helped. Living in the house of affliction. Can you just merge? It's what an opposite. Light and darkness cannot stay together. But in the, in, the, in the life of Lazarus, 
life and darkness are together so that will be that will be spark light will be fighting darkness will be fighting that is why you see jesus christ always passing through his house that is why you see jesus christ being a friend unto lazarus because god has helped him but what about the other one lazarus of bethany lazarus of the house of affliction what about the affliction and laughter we have a wife we have children marry a beautiful sister and brought her into that house of affliction and before you know it she will begin to develop some health issue and they say she's the one she's not the one the health issues as a result of the house of lazarus the house of affliction because there must be affliction in that family and they will not give her to children in that house and the children they will go to school and they won't be they just be struggling to make it in life somebody who is not who don't have who, who is not well who is not uh, they will be making it they will be doing fine but for them with their brain with their certificate they won't be able to achieve anything why because they are born inside the house of affliction they fed them with food of affliction they drank the water of affliction Go and check your Bible very well. The Bible talks about the bread of affliction and the water of affliction. Bread of affliction, water of affliction. The Bible mentions it. Is there in the scripture? So somebody who is living in the house of affliction, what kind of food would that person be eating? The food of affliction, bread of affliction. What kind of water would that person be drinking? Water of affliction. When they gave back to children, what water are they going to use to, to wash, bath the child? Water of affliction. So they have already sentenced the life of that child into affliction. Say in the name of Jesus. Say from inherited affliction. From bondage of my father's house. From bondage of my mother's house. From bondage of my in-law's house. So Lord my God, deliver me. Deliver my marriage. Deliver my husband. Deliver my wife. Deliver my children. Deliver my health. Deliver my business. Deliver the work of my hand. Ask the Lord God to deliver you. In the name of Jesus from the bondage of the house of affliction from the bondage of your father's house from the bondage of your mother's house so lord deliver me 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 as the lord to deliver you in the name of jesus so lord my god deliver me deliver me deliver me deliver me deliver me as the lord to deliver you in the name of jesus as the lord to deliver you in the name of Jesus, as the Lord God to deliver you, in the name of Jesus, from the house of affliction, so Lord my God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver my life, deliver my marriage, deliver my business, deliver my career, oh Lord my God, deliver my life, deliver my marriage, deliver my business, deliver my career, oh Lord my God, deliver my life, deliver my marriage, deliver my business, deliver my career, oh Lord my God, deliver my life, from the house of affliction, from the bondage of house of affliction, deliver me, O Lord. Everything that concerns me, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say affliction. I can't hear you. Say affliction from my father's house. Affliction from my mother's house. Say affliction from my in-law's house frustrating any area of my life say in the name of jesus scatter by fire any affliction from my father's house any affliction from my mother's house any affliction from my in-laws house frustrating my life frustrating my marriage frustrating my business frustrating my career in the name of jesus scatter by fire 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 command it to scatter 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 any affliction that is frustrating your life from your father's house from your mother's house from your in-laws house from the house you are living from the environment where you are working, command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Let it scatter. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say every legal ground that ancestral power have over my life. Any child born into the house of affliction that uh, they use water of affliction to bath that child. That they fed that child spiritually into the water, into the with bread of affliction. Satan always have 
already have a legal ground over that side because Satan will tell him that the day they give back to you they use my water water of affliction to bath you now see all your, your body full of affliction so you must manifest affliction the first where a food they put in your mouth was bread of affliction so that seed of affliction inside inside of your belly so it must be affliction all the days of your life so you cannot be free that is satanic legal grant you want to do well in life and you marry into the wars of affliction ha how do you want to do that if you like half a phd from Harvard. The house that you marry to, the house of affliction, the house of Lazarus. Lazarus, a man that God help, living in the house of affliction, marry a woman who have a PhD from Harvard University, from Oxford University. The moment the woman enter into that house of affliction, the, house, the affliction will swallow all the certificates. She only be speaking Queen's English. I have idea, idea that will not generate. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you say in the name of Jesus. See, every satanic legal grant the ancestral power I have over my life, over my marriage, over my business, over my career. Say by the blood of Jesus, you that legal grant be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus, be cancelled, be destroyed. Be cancelled, be destroyed. Every satanic legal grant that the satanic have over my life, the foundational power I have over my life, the ancestral power I have over my marriage. You that legal grant be cancelled, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled, be destroyed, 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 be cancelled, be destroyed. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say every garment of reproach. Say every garment of affliction over my destiny. Say in the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. Every garment of reproach. Every garment of affliction from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my in-law's house. Say, I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. That garment of affliction, I set it on fire. 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 Every garment of affliction upon you set it on fire 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 in jesus name we are praying say from inherited bondage from inherited affliction from ancestral embargo from ancestral debt say i release myself i release my marriage i release my business i release my career in the name of jesus so lord my god send your ass of fire to the foundation of my life any evil plantation any evil seed say as of fire or prove them or prove them or prove them or prove them evil plantation evil seed in the foundation of my life be uprooted 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 command it to be uprooted any evil seed that I be planted in your destiny, in your life, in your foundation, in your father's house, your mother's house, by a word, command it to be uprooted by the house of fire. Let it be uprooted. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, my help, my help that has been swallowed by the house of affliction, say today, be released. In the name of Jesus, say my glory that has been swallowed. Say my earth that has been swallowed. Say my finance that has been swallowed. Say my womb that has been swallowed. Say any good thing in my life that has been swallowed by the house of affliction. Say in the name of Jesus, release them now. Forbid them now. Release them now. Forbid them now. Release them now. Forbid them now. Release them now. You that house of affliction. You that my father's house, you that my mother's house, you that my in-laws house, that I swallow good things in my life, that I swallow good things in my marriage, that I swallow good things in the life of my partner, begin to for me them, 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 for me them. In Jesus' name we are praying. So Lord my God, say from today, arise and fight for me. 
arise and defend your interests in my life through prayer somebody that goes as help and darkness is fighting that person you only need god to come and do only that which he can do to come and fight for you am i right so lord my god say today arise oh lord say arise in your power defend your interest in my life say arise and fight for me fight for my husband fight for my wife fight for my children in the name of jesus can you turn into prayer ask the lord god to arise and fight for you in the name of jesus thank you mighty father in jesus name we pray i declare i declare concerning every one of you online today every one of you on facebook every one of you listening to this audio every one of you watching on youtube from that house of affliction where you find yourself either by bat either by work either by marriage either by migration that house of affliction today the lord deliver you in the name of jesus the lord deliver you your marriage is delivered your business is delivered your earth is delivered your marriage is delivered your business is delivered your earth is delivered your marriage is delivered your business is delivered your earth is delivered from that house of affliction you are delivered 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 in the name of jesus thank you mighty father blessed be your holy name jesus name we are praying lift up your right hand say today say i'm delivered from house of affliction say in the name of jesus say today say i'm delivered from the house of affliction i can't hear you can you shout it loud and clear say in the name of jesus say today say i'm delivered from the house of affliction in the name of jesus can you say one more time say today say from the house of affliction say i'm delivered say my marriage is delivered my business is delivered my career is delivered my expectations are delivered in the name of jesus can you prophesy to yourself now everything about you they are delivered from the house of affliction can you prophesy say it to yourself from your father's house, from your mother's house, your in-law's house, your place of birth, where you have stayed before, where you have slept before, any house that you have ever slept overnight, just one night, and that place is house of affliction. Say, I'm delivered. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Every one of you that you partner with us on this vision, may God increase you, may God enlarge you, May God confirm his word in your life in the name of Jesus. Every day for the past like three or four days now, I keep receiving testimony of healing. Testimony of healing. Somebody said, you mentioned this morning, you mentioned about somebody with leg issue. Say, I am the one. And uh, today, the pain is no longer there. <laughs> she know why, the person know why I laughed. Huh? The pain is no longer there. Amen. I was taking painkiller, which were not helping. I was taking them and the pain was not going. Amen. But today, the pain is no longer there. I pray for every one of you whom God have done one thing or the other, that the Lord will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Satan will not bring them back in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will be permanent. Those of you that you have been blessed today, your testimony will be permanent. Those of you that you are receiving your own, as we are closing, your testimony will be permanent in the name of Jesus. Once again, every one of you that you partner with all, with your seed, with your tithe, with your offering, may God bless you, may God increase you, may God enlarge you, may God raise men and women to support your vision in the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm seeing another person with leg issue, with leg issue, with leg issue. This one is not solely like a broken leg. They are treating you for broken neck. I saw a leg now um, inside it. Today, that broken leg that they are working on, I decree, I declare, the hand of the Almighty God for stability, for perfection. Let it rest upon that leg in the name of Jesus. The hand of God that will stable it, that will perfect the healing. Let it rest upon that leg in the name of Jesus. So shall he be in Jesus' name. Till we come again tomorrow. Let's not forget tomorrow is Sunday service for our online Sunday service, March with the 12th. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Let's not forget this evening, 
8 p.m. Nigeria time, say no to depression. Every day, every day, you see people killing themselves, angry themselves. Hey, Amen. One is just going rampant now in Nigeria. A woman that went far out some, like, precisely, I think, last year, to the point that a old governor, a old governor of this state, Lagos State, invited her and her little son and uh, congratulate her was happy the governor was happy took picture you know a hey, old governor to invite you i just want to meet you one on one you are there <laughs> amen suddenly the woman have i think like a a year like 12 months old child and uh, the husband left the house to go and work before the husband come back the woman already hung herself and people say no no they don't fight the neighbor said they never had them uh, having issue the woman is always easy going no complain nothing uh, no complain but she that means she bought you a lot of things there are many people around us that bought you millions of things please invite them they may be laughing they may be ah, 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 but many things are going on inside them so before they will commit that atrocity let them come say no to depression a man a woman of god who is a doctor um uh, consultant in that area and also a pastor she's coming to talk to us she will talk medical she will talk from the medical aspect and she will use biblical to back it up every spirit of suicide every spirit that is killing people rampart outside there now my wife we are talking yesterday my wife says it's not only adults you see school children school children where they have nothing Parent pay for their school fees, parent buy, buy their uniform, buy pay this, buy that, and they see kid themselves. Ah, every spirit of suicidal mission that is rampant outside there concerning you, concerning your family, concerning your loved one, we bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. So please, tonight, 8 p.m. Nigeria time, let's come on Facebook. It's going to be on Facebook or Pray in the Goose Network uh, Facebook page. And uh, the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. So we come again this evening, 8 p.m. and tomorrow. Our online Sunday service. Go forth and begin to enjoy your freedom from that house of affliction. Go forth and begin to recover every good thing that the house of affliction have wasted in your life or seized from you. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. To every one of you out there, good afternoon and happy weekend. Please, as the Lord God has said, go out there today, celebrate, enjoy, tear shaking. Eh, no more sorrow, no more sadness. Eh, go forth as you go forth and you begin to celebrate the goodness of God, the greatness of God. Begin to celebrate your testimony ahead of time before you know it. As I'm reading people's testimony very soon, I will read your own testimony in the name of Jesus. Happy weekend to every one of us. May, may praise the Lord, Mr. Uh, David Kibet. Happy weekend, uh, Sheura Keura. Happy weekend. Mudukwe Kristana on Facebook, happy weekend. Mami Fashola, happy weekend. Mami, when are you coming to Lagos? The Lord bless you. Mrs. Hassan, I'm not going to greet your husband. Mrs. Hassan, happy weekend to you and that your lovely baby. Amen. Mrs. Yemi Olowo Obaro, me from Abuja, Nigeria. Happy weekend. And to every one of you there on Facebook, to every one of you listening to this message, happy weekend to every one of you. The Lord bless you all. Jesus name.